guys, welcome back to the Death Ray Cat channel. We're going to look at some more guana bats today. We've had another request of some guana bats. This one's called Spy Catcher. This is a nice, kind of simple surf tune. It's in a 12 bar arrangement. But we're going to be in the key of A. I've made a simple backing track for this, which will be available in the Patreon. I've got some tabs for it as well. I'm going to show the intro. all based around this little box over here so third fingers going on the seventh fret on the D string two hits on there then we go to the fifth fret on the G string then back to the seventh fret on the D then we're gonna go up to the seventh fret on the G string two hits there one hit on the fifth fret on the G then we're gonna go to this uh, sixth fret here on the D string then to the seventh and then that cycle complete so I'll play it slowly that's repeated that's the intro for the guitar it's incredibly warm over here by the way so excuse me if I perspire so the backing track I've just kept it to a simple 12 bar progression just to keep things simple and you can jam over it or just play the same bit over whatever you want to do with it. But what we're going to do is look at the next bit. So we're still in A. We're going to be playing three hits on the fifth fret. Three hits. We're going to play an open E. Then three hits on the third fret. And then another open E. Then back to two hits on the fifth fret there. This is all on the E string. Then we're going to go up to the A string and we're going to go to the third fret. Then we're going to go with your little finger up to the sixth fret. Two hits there, one longer than the other. Then we're going to go to the fifth fret with your third finger. Then to the third fret. slow for you. There you go, so when the band or the backing track is in A, you're going to be playing that. the chords are going to change to a D. Now the cool thing about this is we can take that entire riff, move it one set of strings down to the ground or up in pitch. And then that magically works over the D chord. Then the tune goes back to the A chord. Next chord in that progression is going to be the E. But what we're going to play here is... So we're starting off on the E there, on the A string, on the 7th fret. Couple of hits there. Now we're going to play two hits on the 5th fret on the D string. Play that shape twice. We're going to go back to the D. But instead of playing that whole riff before, we're just going to play. So two hits on the fifth fret on the A string there. Then we're going to play the sixth fret on the D string there twice. Two hits on each there. Then we're going to almost play the same as the first riff. But we're going to land on the E for a little longer play a full E minor chord. So all in the tabs, go check that out. There's a bit where the, the rhythm changes a little. There's a slightly different riff. It's still following the same chord progression. Okay, yeah, it's this cool little classic riff. This is cool because once you've learned that, we can apply it to anywhere. Anyway, 
let's learn it in A. So starting on the A, fifth fret on the E string. And we're going to play the octave of that, which is up here on the seventh fret on the D string. There's your octave, that's a cool little trick to know. We're going to play two hits on each note here. So low A, high A. Then we're going to go to the fifth fret on the D string. And this time we're going to go to the sixth fret on the A string. And then just play that once. And then we're going to go to the seventh fret on the A string and play that once as well. And that is it. And then you cycle it around. Play it slow. Once you got that, we can move it around to wherever those chords are changing. So there's the A. Moves to a D, so let's find the D. There's one here. Fifth fret on the A string, that's a D. Back to the A. seventh fret on the A string there. Just play the cycle once, then go to the D again. Back to the A. That's pretty much it. That's the tune. I've simplified it a bit. The backing track is not going to have the intro. It's just going to go straight into that blues progression. That's all in the Patreon. Thank you very much. See you later.